Hello, I am Eli J. Brown slash Eli J. Brony here with my second review of the Bionicle 2015 sets. This is Kopaka, the Master of Ice. And the back of the box, combiner model, actual size, features, you, you get all that. Alright, now for the pieces. Well, here are some sword pieces, just like with Tahu, except they are in white now. Probably hard to see, but thanks to the inconvenient shadow, you should be able to see them just fine. Oh! Sensational. Sticker sheet. Enough said. Now, open up the big bag and show the important pieces, in my opinion, anyway. So, just to let you know, thinner, main body piece. But, here are the new pieces. The gearbox, all of them have it. And these pieces right here, uh, we get, I think, four, uh, yeah, four. Tahu also had these in gold, Kopaka has them in white. Here's the headpiece and the brain stock, right there. For for recolored pieces, you get a couple of the uh, hands in translucent blue. We've had these before in the 2014 Ultra Build Chima sets, which I was never able to get, all thanks to LEGO's stupid decision not to release them in the United States. Ugh. And you also get these bone pieces. You got two that have two pinholes and two that are the, the standard length. So you get a couple of those. So that is great. Now these pieces are very interesting. Well, we've had these pieces in all sorts of different colors previously. We've had them in red, we've had them in blue, we've had them in yellow, we've had them in lime green, we had them in the lighter, the light green, the green lantern green. Yeah, we've had these in all sorts of different colors, but we've never had them in white until now. I do remember watching, well, looking at a knockoff Hero Factory set that I saw on Google Images, and I did a video showing that, but now LEGO has officially released these pieces in white, so now you can get legit versions of this piece in white, so that is very good of you, LEGO. Now here's a piece that we have not seen for quite a long time, probably have not seen it since um, Bionicle Stars. This rock sheet tool. Remember this? This was originally with Gurok uh, from the 2003 uh, Bionicle line. Gurok was the blue rock sheet for those of you who are not familiar with the rock sheet names. There's the exclusive printing that Kopaka has that none of the other Toa do. And he also includes three masks in this set. One of them being the Skull Spider Mask, which is pretty obvious. And the other two being his two masks of ice. One in white and one in gold. So that is pretty good. So now I'm going to build this and show you what it looks like completed. I don't know if you've seen my Tahu review, but if you have, you probably remember that I mentioned about how the these ball joints you just ignore in that set. But in Kopaka's case, you actually use them. And use them to attach these armor pieces on them. Sorry, something was just hurting me off screen. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So, they're not ignored for this case. And that right there is the new Kopaka, the Master of Ice. Now, 
in height comparison, here's Tahu, and they almost look like they are the same height, but I think Opaka is slightly shorter due to the fact that Tahu uses these extender pieces while Kopaka doesn't. So, Tahu is just slightly taller, but it's hard to notice in this case. So, take Tahu out of the frame there. Now, his color scheme looks alright and all. They captured the ice, the whole ice theme, since Kopaka is the Toa of Ice. The whole color scheme, having it be white and blue, but something that I really do not get would be this gold here. I mean, it's okay. I mean, the chest piece has that. But... I I personally would reduce the gold and give them more white. Another nitpick that I would have to have would probably be what they did on the lower legs. I mean, they really do not need these pieces right here. Those are just unnecessary, because I would certainly take those off of there and just put this piece onto that. Seriously, Lego, why did you not do that? Now the gear function, well, in Kopaka's case, only this arm moves up and down. Now I do appreciate this whole shield thing, it takes us back to Kopaka Nuva from the, uh, from the 2002 line. Now just like with all of the sets, push this down, mask falls off, and then you can put the skull spider on. It's too difficult to do it with the legs, so I'm doing it without the legs. So you just put it on like that, and that is what you got. Take that off. Put these back on. There we go. Put that right there. There's also the gold mask right here. You put that on, and it's kind of in super charge mode. Though, if you look at it from up here, it kind of looks more like now Kopaka is starting to steer away from the white and get closer to the gold. Which, I personally do not like that idea. Now, I do appreciate the translucent pieces, uh, the hands and such, but I kind of feel like I don't know. Maybe there's just too much going on of it right there. And another thing that I also do not get would be... Well, those are some pieces that I'm going to use to improve this guy. The, the silver main body piece. They used a Brain Attack series main body piece there. But they don't use any silver anywhere else on the body, which just doesn't make sense to me. I know. This piece the head, but apart from those, there's just nothing else on the character to make him, well, silver. So I'm going to do some adjustments for this character just really quickly. And there we go for Kopaka, all adjusted for my taste. So what I did was just take out the silver main body piece and gave him the white one instead. Not the same style, but it'll do. Gave him these white paw pieces instead of the gold ones, because they didn't like all that gold on there. But since this piece is used on there, I decided to keep the gold for uh, these pieces right here. Just so the uh, main body piece does not seem out of place. And I also switched out the hands for white ones. Um, but don't get me wrong, I do like these hand pieces, but I would rather use the white ones. Okay, so that is it. That is my review on Gopaka, the Master of Ice, and I'll be sure to see you in my next video. Bye for now.